everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. I'm in the craft room and today we're going to make a Halloween witch out of a golf ball. Since we're making a witch today, we need to paint her green. However, before I do that, I want to add her nose. That way it can be painted right away too. And all I'm using is some craft foam. And I'm going to just kind of wing it here. Okay, then I have my hot glue. You don't need to use hot glue. You could use regular glue. It'll just take a little bit longer for it to dry. And just put it right on. With my rotary tool, I'm going to just drill a hole in the top. And that's so I can add an eye screw, and that's only if you're going to hang it. If you're not going to hang it, then you don't need to put the eye screw on there. And now I have some green acrylic paint. And I'm going to paint the whole thing, and it's going to take a minimum of two coats. Now we got to make the hat, and to make the hat, we need to make a cone. And I have a pencil on a string, and I have some craft foam here. I'm going to just draw an arc and cut it out and this will help create our cone for the hat. What I like to do with witch hats, and I made a life-size witch hat, which if you haven't seen that video, you should definitely check it out. I'm going to take a wire and put it right in and run it down the middle. Now what I'm going to do is run a bead of glue along the edge, and this is not going to be super neat because it never is, and we just cover that up with stuff later, so no big deal there. But you do want to be very careful because the glue is hot and you don't want to burn your fingers. Once that first section has cooled, move on to the next one. You can use a skewer stick to help you kind of hold it all in place too. Alright, it looks pretty messy. Again, don't worry about it. And now you're probably wondering why I have the wire in there and that is so I can bend it. And now I'm going to cut a circle. and now it will sit right on there. Now what I am going to do is if you kind of fold it over like this you'll get a cut right smack in the middle like that okay and that will allow it to sit on her better but also if you are going to have the eye hook in there then that lets it go through. Now you do want to have a string or something coming through the top of the hat if you are going to hang it from the eye hook. Now I'm going to glue this piece like that. Again, there's a lot of glue showing and it doesn't matter. Now we need some eyes. Figure out where you want to put the eyes and I'm just using Google Eyes and glue them on. And I'm going to cut some little strips of the black to give her some angry eyebrows. And we will glue these on. Now with a permanent marker, I'm just going to kind of give her a frown like that. We got to give her some hair and I have some trim left over from a project way, way, way back when and you can use yarn, you can use rope, you can use ribbons, you can use anything for her hair. Alright, so I'm going to attach this with a little hot glue. So here she is with her scraggly hair. Now we're going to add the hat. I'm just going to put some glue and then place it right on her. I'm going to press it down. Now again, if you wanted to hang her, you would have wanted to put a string through here um, looped on the on the eye screw before putting the hat on. So the next thing to figure out is how to make her stand and give her a body. You could easily do like a toilet paper roll, but I think I am going to take another piece of craft foam and I'm going to create another cone. I want her to be about this tall, I think. So I'm just going to draw the arch. <clears throat> and then I'm going to glue it together, just like I did before. I do a section at a time. So here it is so far, and I didn't bother gluing it all the way up because I don't need it to go all the way up. I'm going to just snip it there, and then I can decide if I want her to be this tall, which I think I, think I do. Now if you're having any kind of a problem, or you're worried that the um, the cone won't stay together, though it, it should. You can always take a little duct tape or some type of a tape and put it on the inside as well. Like I could take this and just put 
put it right there like that and that will help it stay together too in case you're worried about the seam at all. Now we do need to give our arms so we'll take some more of the black foam. It almost looks like a sock. This will be her one arm and I'll trace it and cut another one just like it. Now while we have her arms here I'm going to take a little bit of the same green paint that I used on her face and just put it right at the very end just like this and I'll do that on the front and the back and we'll let that dry. All I did was I glued her head onto onto the comb. I, we're going to do some decorating now and I have some black ribbon here and I'm going to run this along the front. All right, and Then I'm going to just put a little bit of hot glue every once in a while, tack it on. I'm going to hot glue her arms on. All right, now we're going to glitter her. I'm just using white glue I'm working over a tray to catch as much of the glitter as possible. I'm using a chunky black glitter because I don't have a fine glitter, but either one would work fine. Pour it over. I'm going to do that in a couple different places so she looks like she has stripes coming up her hat. That just happens to be the design of her hat. Now I'm going to do the very same around the brim of the hat. Um, where it meets because we have a lot of hot glue going on there. And then we're going to do it around the brim of the hat too. And there is her hat. Now I'm going to add the same thing around her neck and then a little bit maybe on her sleeves and down each side of this ribbon because you see it's kind of lumpy so we want to disguise that. Now I'm going to use this fine copper glitter that I have. I'm going to put dots on that ribbon and I'm working over a fresh tray Okay, and then you want to tap off any of the excess and I'm going to put some dots on her hat. There's her hat and her dress and I'm going to set her aside to dry. Now what we need to do is make her a broom because she's a witch and she needs a broom. And I went outside, I got some twigs, and I'm just going to break off a piece long enough for her broom. Okay. So I'm breaking little twigs off. And these are going to be the bristles of the broom. Here's my stick. I'm going to just start gluing some of these smaller pieces right onto the end. So put a bead of glue, put in a stick another stick. When you get as many sticks on as you want, I'm going to take a little bit of rope or twine, whatever you want. You can do a ribbon. I'm going to put that around here, a little glue around. I'm going to take my twine and just wrap it around. Add some more glue. You have a little witch's broom. And now I have this little resin piece left over from something else that I'm just going to add to it. It's a little black cat. I'm going to glue that right to the bottom of her skirt over here. All right, here she is. She's all done. I put a little more glitter on the bottom of her skirt. The cat is over there and I'm going to just lean the broom up here so you can place it any way you want or you can glue it on if you wanted to, but it sits there very nicely. Hope you like her. Hope you give her a try. And remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. We'll definitely see you next time. Happy crafting and happy Halloween.